Hi guys, I wanted to show you this straw creation with tubes of toilet paper. A um, couple beads for anchors and that's it. Um, the great thing about this, I'll show you in a minute, that it can be stuffed with any kind of foraging items. And this can be as big or as small as you would like it. This is the size of a regular tube of toilet paper. Um, I also have other sizes. This has been cut for um, bounty towels. So what I did first is went through and got my tube of two toilet paper. My two zip ties we're gonna need, uh, scissors, a ton of straws that have already been cut, my pliers to cut the zip ties, and I got two anchors. And these particular beads I have, let me open this camera up a little bit better. There we go. They came like this. Um, so I just drilled holes to make them bigger to go through because I was, I'm using the eight inch zip ties. So that's all I did. So now after I've gotten all my zip ties, or excuse me, my straws cut up, I went and cut four sides to the toilet paper roll. Now what I did though, is I left a section in the middle because obviously if you cut all the way through, this thing's coming apart. So then I crisscrossed. I took this, oops, let me move this. Flattened it out so it can fit right in between here, like that. And then I swapped sides and went just back and forth. Like I said, I crisscrossed. I gotta figure out. There we go. I'll do one more so I can show you the inside. And you do not want to go all the way to the top because you need flaps to fold over like this one. Now this is the middle. Now when you get all of those sides, both sides done, this is gonna be filled up. And it's a great foraging item for the, the birds. But when you're done, just like folding a package, I'm gonna fold it like that. Now, when we get a little further, you will have a hole. And we'll take our anchor when we're all done. So we're gonna pretend this is all done. And slip it through. So there's no punching of holes or anything when you're complete. We'll have this side done already. And when the end result will look like this. It's a fun little toy. The nice thing is it can be a foot toy, but if you want, um, definitely put anything else in here to put it in with any kind of hanging toy. That would be kind of fun for them too with all of this fun um, stuff. Maybe for preening, if you have over preeners, um, this would be another good idea. So you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.